太ももフェチが求めた陶器理想の朝を Hey, welcome back, weebs. It's time for another FGO NA How To, and today we'll be taking a look at thighs. No, not those thighs. These thighs. Yeah, that is the spot. Shishu is a five star lancer who's been introduced to NAFGO with the Thanksgiving banner extravaganza that made a lot of people go, Shut up and take my money! Which one's the real waifu, though? Really makes you think, huh? All the good girls you take out for dinner But all the bad girls you take out for liquor At level 90, Shisho has 14,825 HP and 11,375 attack and 16,241 HP and 12,452 attack when grailed to 100. This makes her a really tanky lancer, but considering her assets, this shouldn't be a surprise at all. Her star absorption is 88, star gen 12.2%, MP charge attack 0.71%, MP charge defense 4%, and she's neutral good. And for some reason, for someone who apparently can't ever be killed, her death rate is still 32%. She has a 2Q 2B deck and a quick noble phantasm, making her a quick centric servant. Her busters have 6 hits, her arts has 3 hits, her quicks have 2 hits, and her extra attacks have 7 hits. So what these stats should mean to you is that they're a little counterintuitive. Like I said just earlier, she's a quick centric servant, and her star gen stat itself is pretty good, but her quick cards don't have a lot of hits on them, only two hits each to be precise, so because of this, Shisho technically isn't very good at generating crit stars. But if you do get a BAQ chain with her, she can produce about 20 stars, which isn't bad by any means, and if you happen to land a quick brave chain with her, using her noble phantasm, she gets about 30 stars instead. Her extra attack is what nets you the most crit stars, since it has 7 hits, so if you don't have any other potential crit star generator in your current team, and you feel like you need one, try to use Shisho's brave chains as much as possible. However, with a 0.71 charge rate and only one arts card, even with an AQQ chain, she can only charge about 36% of your gauge, and if you land all crits, even then, she can only charge about, like, 61%. So, you get the idea. She's pretty fucking bad at charging her own NP under normal circumstances. This means that, if you want to use her NP more than once in any given fight, bringing along spineless whiny bitch to charge her MP for her, or anyone else who can for that matter, is pretty essential. That being said, this is probably for balancing reasons, because her MP is really strong and be kind of broken if she could spam it, not that some other servants seem to care, but we'll talk about her MP in more detail later, because we're going to talk about her skills next. All the good girls, they don't pull the trigger, but all the bad girls, they pull it much quicker. Her first skill is Wisdom of Dunska A+. It gives her evasion for one turn and an 80% chance to both increase her own crit damage and star pull for three turns each. Her crit damage increase goes from 30 to 50% and her star pull increase goes from 300 to 500%. There are two important things to keep in mind about this skill. The first is that the secondary effects, the crit damage and star pull buffs, are not mutually inclusive. Or, in other words, you can actually have only one of these effects activate, but not the other at the same time. So you have to pay attention when you use this skill to know what Shisho actually got out of it. Only the evade is a guaranteed effect. The other thing is that the secondary effects both have a fixed 80% chance of activating, as we've mentioned before. Now, this is a good percentage, don't get me wrong, compared to other skills that are based on chance, but the fact that it's not certain that you'll get all these effects active really hinders this skill's true potential. So if you plan on making Shisho your main crit servant, which she's good at, again, don't get me wrong here, you still have to recognize the fact that sometimes RNG might not go your way. You've got to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? Her second skill is Primeval Rune, and it doesn't even have a rank on it. It's over 9,000! Remember Okita's reduced earth skill, or Shukichi, or whatever it's called in NA? Shisho has that exact same skill, except it's targetable, much like Tamamo's Fox's Wedding skill. Deja vu, huh? Because it's targetable, this instantly makes Shisho the best quick support at the time of her release here in NAFGO, and it'll stay that way until Nyante gets her strengthening interlude that buffs her own quick support skill. Her third skill is God Slayer B, which increases her damage against both divine and undead enemies by 50 to 100% for one turn. Undead is not a servant applicable trait, but there are a whole ton of divine servants, and against eight of them, Shisho can really wreck their shit including this guy. Terrible, terrible damage. So if you want to think of her skills this way to make it easy on yourself, Shisho is kind of like a combination of Okita, Tamamo, and Nobu. 
Oaktip provides the legs, Tamamo provides the fun bags, and Nobu provides the... the... Wait, what does she give again? And her only passive skill is Magic Resistance A, which increases resistance to debuffs by... 20%... It's never too late to get down and party Switching from good to bad cause you're not a Shishou's NP is Gay Bull's alternative. It's a single target, quick NP that applies a guaranteed stun on the target, deals 1200 to 2000 damage depending on MP level, and has a chance to deal instant death from 50 to 100% depending on overcharge level. One of the strongest utilities of Shishou's MP is the stun. The vast majority of stun skills that are currently available in the game to you as the player are based on chance. No matter how good your chance is, unless you've leveled it to the point where RNG is basically factored out of the equation, Equation, it's still RNG at the end of the day. However, Shisho's MP says fuck the RNG and stuns anyone that it targets, no questions asked. So in this context, the stun on Shisho's MP is extremely powerful, probably one of the reasons why DW decided to slap her with really shitty charge gain. As I mentioned before in the Okta video, Shisho's MP being single target and having the exact same damage scaling as Okta's MP is definitely worth leveling and risking more salt on the Thanksgiving gacha. Just pray that you don't accidentally get either the Golden Boys in the process. Or save your quartz for Jack, I guess, who's apparently coming out in like two or three days. As for the insta-kill thing, it's not really a useful mechanic, so don't really worry about it. If you happen to insta-kill something, hooray for you, I guess, because you probably won't be insta-killing any of the serves you see in the class dailies. You can use Shisho in three ways, a quick support, a divine or undead boss killer, or a crit lancer. You can also combine these so that she can fulfill two or even all three roles at the same time, but for now, we'll be talking about them individually. As mentioned when discussing her skills, Primeval Rune by itself makes Shisho the strongest quick support we have in NAFGO at the time of her release. The utility of its targetable nature is really hard to ignore because there are plenty of servants in the game already who have quick base noble phantasms, like Lancelot if you really want to use it on him. Other than Tin Can Man, though, there's Headpat Tengu Girl, Feet Girl, Fat Ass, Achilles Sister, and the Gay Bulges, to name a few. Her God Slayer's skill, combined with her single target MP, makes Shisho also very useful for killing bosses, especially the, you know, the divine or undead ones, like the skill dictates. And because the 40 AP Archer class daily is a thing, now Shisho is to Okta as how Gil is to Liz. No! And finally, Shisho can be used as a crit lancer thanks to her Wisdom of Dunskacht skill, and 80% is still a high enough chance to make it reliable as a crit damage boost and star pull skill. She's probably not the greatest star generator on her own, for reasons we've mentioned earlier in this video, but she can definitely help another star generator server produce stars with quick chains and then pull those stars in for herself. But just keep in mind that you don't have to use Shisho in any of these aforementioned ways, since she's a 5 star with a lot of health, she can definitely be used as a general service servant if you really enjoy using her in your front lines, even if her kit doesn't blend her well to normal farming of the like. The fact that she still has two Bustler cards in her deck really helps out her general utility a lot. So if you just want to use her for the sake of using her, and don't really care for any particular strategy or whatever, you can use her in basically whatever way you like. Just don't send her against sabers, and you should be good. All the good girls, they act like beginners. All the bad girls, they know that they're sinners. One of Shisho's biggest weaknesses, as we've talked about earlier, is her low charge gain. So pairing her with anyone that can help charge her MP for her, like Spineless Whiny Bitch or Bushy Tail, will ensure that she can use her Noble Phantasm more than just once with Limbo Broken K-Scope. Also, as I discussed in the Okta video, Nyanta and Shisho make a good pairing too, since they both complement each other in more or less the same ways that Sakura Saber and Nyanta do. Shisho is also great in any quick team just because of her primeval rune skill alone, as I've also discussed. As a matter of fact, Shisho is her own greatest quick support servant, at least before, you know, Nyanta gets that quick skill upgrade for herself. Just stack both primeval runes on one Shisho and watch her nuke a bitch. What the fuck? But again, just to reiterate, the great thing about Shisho is that she doesn't necessarily have to be stuck in one particular team or another. You can run her in just about any team, and she can handle herself just fine. She can do this to a bigger extent than, say, Okta can, because while Okta can definitely handle her own with a suspiciously similar skill set, she doesn't have quite the same health pool that Shisho has to give her quite the same degree of freedom of being in whatever team composition that she wants. 
Or, at the end of the day, if you don't give a flying damn about proper team comps, you could always just run the double coup Shisho team for maximum Lancer memes. All the good girls are really good kissers. All the bad girls are really good strippers. Naturally, just like Okita, Imaginary Around and its counterparts that boost quick card performance are the safe choices on Shisho, since they both share the identical command card deck. Launch Order is also a pretty good CE for... Yeah, pretty much the same reason. But because her NP charge gain is pretty bad, generally speaking, giving her CEs that boost NP charge gain won't make too much of a difference. That being said though, if you do give her Divine Banquet and she happens to get a crit on her Arts card, she can generate a huge chunk of MP charge, but this is only really viable if you're planning on using Shisha as a crit lancer. Otherwise, it's probably better just to stick with something else. Speaking of crit lancers, Untumbra is great on her because it'll let her crit even harder with her first skill, or if you're feel lucky, you can slap on that one CE that everyone hates because it had the same color palette as 2030 thanks to her high health. And because she's fairly decent at producing crit stars, giving her Be Elegant isn't a bad option either if she's the only option you have as a crit star generator. And speaking of crit star generators, this wouldn't be a true Shisho vid if I didn't talk about the other waifu, 2030 that is, which is a really good CE for Shisho to hold too because it makes Shisho even tankier and produces crit stars every round for the team. If you want to go down the quick support route as if we weren't talking about that just now with 2030, her bond CE is perfect for it, but for most of you that probably won't be an option for at least another 5 months. And of course, even though I did say that Shisho isn't necessarily geared for farming, giving her K-Scope so that she can wipe the floor with Gil's ass and the Archer Dailies is always a good idea. Moonfest is also very good on Shisho too since it buffs her star gen and crit damage at the same time, but if you want to go for NP damage instead, Gudao is the perfect alternative for both crit and NP damage. And on the topic of buffing her NP, Halloween Princess, especially if you're lucky enough to have it limit broken, is a great choice, assuming that you can bring along your local spineless whiny bitch to give her her NP right off the bat. Since she's got a lot of health to spare, Black Grail would have been a prime choice for her if it weren't for her terrible charge gain, but again, Waver's always there to be your MP charge bitch anyway, so you could probably make that work in boss battles or something. So to summarize, Shisho is a 5 star Lancer with defined roles that she fits into very snugly just like that bodysuit that she's wearing. She can be a quick support, a boss killer against anyone with the divine or undead traits, or a crit lancer, and if you set her up right, maybe even a little bit of everything. But due to the stats that her 5 star status gives her, namely her high HP, combined with her evade skill, Shisho can break these cuffs, and be more flexible outside of her usual roles, and do basically whatever you want her to do. And so despite the fact that she's not your teacher, not your mom, not your sister, and not your really hot 2D girlfriend, even if she never says it to you directly, she'll always be there for you until the very end. Well, once you have her, that is. It's safe to say that this one particular catalyst is not working. So, uh... Yes. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Rainbow! 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 Come on, Lancer Guard! Yes! Yes! Come on! Come on! Come on! Yes! And that's all you really need to know about the president of your local Thighs Friendship Association. Oh, and by the way, how do you pronounce her name? Thank you all very much for watching, and as always, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I don't do this often, but since it seems like a lot of people are liking the kind of content that I'm producing here on YouTube, I'm going to take a quick moment here to shill and let you guys know that I'm writing a fake Grand Order fanfic, if reading fanfics are kind of your thing. And if it isn't, now is a good time to exit out of this video, because I'm not going to be talking about anything meaningful from here on out. But in case you're still here, if you'd like to take a look at what I'm writing, the links to my FGO fanfic and my fanfiction.net profile are in the description below. For those of you who actually bother reading the descriptions of my videos, you'll have probably already seen it. So just ignore this for now. With how much I grind this damn game though, updating the fanfic is a little bit of a challenge, not gonna lie, but I do want to get back into writing as frequently as possible, or however much that my grinding will allow. Ugh.
There's also another Twitter poll in the description as well. So similar to how I did for the Okita video, you guys can pick who the next video will be on, either between Orion or Gil. And I know that with the recent announcement that Christmas is coming, Jack will be here to spread Merry Holiday cheer with us soon, but I will make a Jack video after this one that this poll will be about. But once again, thanks for watching, and until we meme again, deuces!